Hi, I'm Dan Malotny, broker of record with Ottawa Urban Realty. Welcome to 244 Bayswater Avenue. Come on in to 244 Bayswater. Vestibule, hardwood floors, flowing through to the super bright west facing kitchen, hardwood stairs up to the second floor. Also in the vestibule, quite a large deep closet. into the living room. Hardwood floors on both, both levels and a softwood up on the uh, third floor. That's west looking out to the garden. And east looking out onto Bayswater. Lovely home. Now we'll walk back out to the front vestibule or entrance, and then we can walk through to the kitchen. Cork floors, stairs to the unfinished basement, but it's actually a really good height. Galley kitchen. Loads of storage though. And uh, westward out to the back deck. Organic gardens. And super handy shed. I'll do a walk around outside after. Here we go, up the stairs to the second floor. hardwood as I mentioned lovely banister four-piece bath shower deep tub bright and well maintained it's actually a really nice uh, window in this door for light to flow through to the hallway looking back down the stairs and the three bedrooms and linen closet on the second floor. I've got dimensions in the listing. That's looking west. No direct rear neighbors or homes looking directly. <clears throat> Back to the hallway and into the middle bedroom. The bedrooms all have uh, good sized closets as well. It's surprising. For the vintage, really good storage. That would be a north facing window that's looking into the neighbors, but it's not, uh, it's not that high of a house. Okay, and then back. Now that's the door up to the third floor loft. And we're going into the principal bedroom here. Lovely leaded windows uh, that uh, upgraded on the exterior. The um, cost for heating this home is actually quite reasonable. Again, you can find that information in the listing. The principal bedroom has a large walk-in closet for this vintage of home. Uh, and it's extra deep on the right. It's uh, two layers deep for uh, storage. Now, what's next? Let's head up to the... Next, we're walking up to the loft. Lovely floors up here. I believe this is a soft wood and it's extra wide. And there's a dormer at the front of the home. The dimensions of this room are, it's deceptively large. It's hard to pick up on this camera. You know, a highest and best use would be to probably add another dormer here at some point. But if you don't need the extra space, it's just a really nice, maybe spare bedroom, art room, music room.
And here we are in the basement of 244 Bayswater. We have a laundry area. They're using the open space as a workout area. Lots of shelving. One, two, three windows down here. This is the east facing, north facing into the driveway and uh, west facing into the backyard. Now you can't probably see how high this is, but uh, the beam I'm going to say is about maybe six foot seven. I can walk clear under the beam, no problem. Um, and they've got the uh, insulation on all the, the walls. And uh, it looks to be somewhat updated uh, as far as wiring goes. Well insulated down here. Okay, let's have a look at the backyard. Here we are at 244 Bayswater. Front gardens. Private drive. Really nice detail in the brick and the stonework in this house. All newer exterior windows in the last few years. Newer roof. Like I said, private drive all the way to the back. Nicely maintained. So the back we have a multitude of what are currently vegetable gardens. Maybe there's some flowers, but it's mostly vegetables. I believe it's all organic to the best of their ability. And a good sized shed as well in the back here. This is a west facing backyard and it will look a lot better within a month from now. Um, just take a look, we've got some grapevines here that are fairly old. Um, I don't know how much, how many grapes they get from it each year, how many pounds, um, and all these gardens are lush and green whenever I've seen this in the summer. Semi-detached home, good sized back deck, come out and sit. fairly private backyard for the area. You'll notice there's no homes directly behind. There's a yard uh, from a house around the corner. Thank you for visiting.